I brought just a selection of chairs uh, today which may typically follow the progression of somebody's condition with MS. So starting with the Vela activity chair um, here which I'll run through a few features, the Lento mobile rise and recline chair and then finally the Lento tilt in space care chair. So I'm just going to start with the, the activity chair. So as Liana mentioned, fatigue is one of the most um, prevalent parts of, uh, of MS and you'll appreciate sort of just doing general daily activities. So if it's washing or ironing, you know, jobs around the house, you need assistance for that. And it, that's exactly what this chair um, is. May appear initially like an office chair, but it's a lot more than, lot more than that. So you've got a considerable amount of adjustment with the chair. I've got some buttons underneath the armrest here, which can take me up and down. So very, very useful um, when working at, say, a kitchen worktop or needing to access a, a drawer or, or wardrobe. Um, that goes to a considerable height. And then also for when you're in the standard seating position, having the right height of chair. So it's going to be a lot easier to mobilise from that. We've also got some levers just down um, to the right here. So this allows me to adjust the, the rake of the seat, so forward tilt or backward tilt. So it might be that it's more um, comfortable for me to change my position and work in more of a perch, for example, if you were ironing. Or then conversely, I'm feeling a little bit fatigued, so I recline back uh, to have a rest. So there's a lot of flexibility there with the chair. And then we've also got a separate backrest angle adjustment, and that allows us to open up or close the, the back angle as required. So it's on a very stable base and quite a unique base. Normally you see like the five star caster base, which can actually be a bit of a trip hazard. This has got four, um, four individual wheels, good size wheels, and it means that you can mobilize. So with the, the heels um, and your shoes, so you can actually m maneuver the chair forward and backward. So in the afternoon, if you are feeling more fatigued, it's something that you can actually um, mobilize around the, around the house on. And then for when you're transferring um, in and out of the chair, we've got a handle which we can have at either side. So this is brake handle, which when I push forward locks all casters. So now I've got something really secure and firm to be able to stand from. And also when I'm sitting back down, there's many other um, features available on it, such as different contoured um, cushions. If somebody needs more support, little lateral supports to keep them in a good midline position, headrests and so on. But this, this shows it in a typical configuration, you might say a starting configuration. You could either have a manual height adjust or as this one's got an electric height adjust. So as the condition unfortunately progresses, it might be that the um, patient needs assistance to physically get out of the chair, hence me um, moving on to a rise and recline chair. But before we do that, we've got to have something which is um, going to be the right, as, as Liana mentioned, the right size, comfort, many things to consider when sitting in a chair, particularly for longer periods. So the Lento range is a very adjustable range of chairs, so we're actually able to really easily adjust the width, the seat width of the chair. Got a screw knob, very simple at the back, so toolless adjustments. But what it um, also means is that if we did need to remove it altogether, so for side transfers or to help with personal care, if you're a carer or applying a sling, that can be really useful. But what that then reveals is a height adjustable armrest section. So as Diana touched on, the importance of having the correct arm height. So what we're trying to do is prevent somebody leaning to one side to compensate, or if they've got shorter limbs or carry quite a lot of weight, 
um, around the bottom area. This um, is designed so that it gives the correct armrest height adjustment so that's really easy just to adjust up and down there. We can adjust the seat depth of the chair again that's with a screw knob so undo and that will then allow us to set the backrest the, 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 the whole back further back or further forward depending what height we are so we can support along the thigh there. So we've got a very simple operation on this particular one it's a four button handset so we can separately adjust the backrest and then we can also we've got like a tilt in space mechanism so the leg rest comes up and the backrest goes back a little way so with the seat rake that helps prevent somebody sliding out the chair um, as in the front of the seat being slightly higher than the, the rear of the seat. And we're also um, distributing our pressure, our body weight, so much more evenly when we're reclined back, as opposed to all the weight going through the bottom, a little bit through our feet. We're now taking the, um, spreading the, the weight more evenly, and that um, eases the pain for the patients with, with MS. Now another um, important feature with this chair is that rider recliners are notorious for kind of difficulty with um, when you're trying to assist somebody with something like a SARA study or a return or other transfer aids it's very difficult to to work with them and we've made this particular chair compatible with with those aids so in brief you've got a very narrow arm here you've got your front casters inset in which means that when you open something like a stand aid or a star steady or so on you can actually get the legs right the way under the chair here and most importantly get somebody's calves right to the front of the leg rest otherwise as we'll see so commonly we get as far as we can it ends up their bottom being at the front of the seat and then we've either got a slouch seat position or the carers are having to physically assist in trying to get somebody to the back of the back of the chair and then lastly it's got it's got a portering handle at the back which is quite rare for a rising recliner this is made um, particularly strong to to actually um, work in in this way and for these patients that have got the um, particularly newer patients who've maybe got a varying day-to-day -day condition it may be one day they are able to mobilize a bit perhaps on something like the the chair we touched on um, but if not we can actually take them from room to room or move in different positions around the room so the carer can move the patient around so it gives a little bit more um, flexibility than the typical rise and recline chair would do and then with the lateral support here in the middle of the backrest that just hugs somebody gently at the core to keep them in a good midline position um, you see some fixed laterals on you know like metal stems which can be pressed you know quite hard if, if they're not in the right position well this just gently hugs you at your core to keep you in a good midline and then as we touched on fabric earlier this is a four-way stretch material so it moves both forward and backward and side to side now that's particularly important in terms of giving pressure relief and comfort if you had something like a tough final which has got no movement it's a little bit like sitting on a board and kind of pointless having either your visco foam or gel underneath whereas with this stretch material it means you get so much more immersion so you're you're getting a lot better spread as you sat down on the chair and comfort it also wicks away the moisture the dartex it's a breathable material so like we had earlier if we're struggling to maintain you um, or regulate your body temperature then that can help with this and then on the outside of the chair we have a vinyl 
or it can be a fabric. Um, one thing to mention, these two chairs are kind of mocked up typically for, you might say, more of an acute hospital environment, but it's limitless in terms of the kind of patterns and colours and types you can have but what is important is that particularly through the inner of the chair or what we call the contact areas that we get the right fabric type in this area where the patient's going to be sat. So moving on lastly to the tilting space care chair. So you can see this is altogether a higher chair, so it's on larger casters um, to ensure that you can easily get a hoist either from the front or through the side to hoist a patient into the chair. And with it being higher, you kind of work in at more of a um, a better height there for the for the carers. So this particular specification has got what we call a manual action. So you've got a little squeeze lever which allows you to control the tilt in space it also allows you to independently adjust the backrest recline and then you can also elevate the leg rest now many different accessories for this I won't run through them the same and at this point I won't um, go over again but you've got exactly the same adjustment in terms of the seat width, the arm height, back height, seat depth, foot plate height. So to get the right chair for the patient with the correct comfort um, is really going to make a lot of difference to, to these patient types. So feel free to put any questions on the on the chat which we'll try and answer but I thought I'd just show a portfolio of some of our chairs that might typically show um, how a condition progresses from when somebody's more active to when they're hoisted.